Those are pretty. Now it's just some kind of a vine or weed. But I think it looks good. I don't think anything's eating them though. Leaves are dropping, trees are getting pretty, pretty good, pretty dropping. Today, this is the Dogwood Chronicles. Today is, uh, first reading is from Romans 8, and Paul tells us that we're not um, indebted to sin. We're indebted to the Spirit. And if we, and being indebted to the Spirit, we're indebted to God. And we're indebted to Jesus if we take up basically our cross, if we take up and follow him. Uh, Psalm 68 says, our God is a God of salvation. And in the Gospel of Luke, uh, chapter 13, verses 10 to 17, we hear the story of Jesus was in a synagogue and a woman bent over with a demon for 18 years. She couldn't walk, stand up straight, came up into the synagogue and Jesus says, come here. And he takes her hand and cures her. And the synagogue official says, there's six days a week to do work. Don't come here on the Sabbath and do that. And Jesus calls him a hypocrite, of course and um, says you'd untie your, your oxen or your ass and water them, but then you don't think we should cure this woman of Abraham, this uh, woman of the house of Abraham on the Sabbath. And uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe the synagogue leader is talking to the woman and saying, don't come here for a cure on, on the Sabbath, but Certainly she could come to the synagogue on any day. She didn't ask Jesus to cure her. Jesus saw something that needed to be done and he did it. It was urgent. This woman had been bent over for 18 years. There's no need in waiting another day. If Jesus can do it, how do we know Jesus would be there tomorrow or she would be there? So anyway, um, today... Go to your church, pray. Remember that it's a Catholic church. Jesus is in the tabernacle, so you can go there. Even probably on the altar, there's some kneelers. And kneel right there and pray, knowing that God is literally in the house. When the candle's there lit and the tabernacle is there, you know that... Je really? Seriously? Mm -hmm. Can I not finish? Do, do you mind... Do you, do you mind, sir? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and when it's time to roll on your back, there's no need to wait, right, Gus? Just get over there, flip upside down, and and rub your back on all these nuts. <sighs> on all these, uh, whatever the heck these pecans are. So, today, remember to pray. Go to your church. Remember, God is there. And, uh, yeah.